Hello guys, this is Nedmist and uh, today's topic is actually uh, very serious and uh, I had to make this video on urgent basis. As you can see and read from the video's title, the video is about uh, scamming. So, it's something which shouldn't have happened in uh, Beyblade but the thing is that we have people who can stoop to that level as well to uh, scam people in Beyblade as well. So I thought I would make this video uh, because recently the cases have been increasing. Uh, as such, people haven't been scammed actually or as, as far as I know, no one has been scammed. Uh, maybe uh, some people might have been scammed. Uh, but uh, overall, the people who are trying to scam others have increased rapidly. So, the thing is that I would just uh, share the recent incident which happened with me is uh, just last week I had a, a guy who messaged me about uh, Dronzer V. So, uh, it was a business account actually. So, I didn't first check anything about the account and I just said that uh, it's not available, it is sold. Uh, then later on, I just uh, spotted that it is a business account. So, I just went to the person's uh, profile and uh, I checked it out that uh, in his uh, description there was also a catalog in which a lot of Beyblades were mentioned. So these Beyblades, uh, the pictures which were used were uh, quite familiar and uh, I had seen them before as well. So I just scrolled down and like at the end or second last I spotted my Dronzer V as well the ad which I had posted on my WhatsApp uh, in my business uh, catalog and uh, this guy had simply copy pasted that same ad and was selling it for a higher price. So it's basically like the person didn't have that Beyblade actually and he was still selling it and it didn't even belong to him. So that is a clear cut situation of scamming. Even the person was using a lot of uh, photos from other sellers as well. Uh, especially some of the photos which were used were uh, from a seller known as Tapan. Uh, his uh, Instagram name is uh, the Beyblade Art One, I think. So if I'm wrong, I'm really sorry. Uh, but that's not the point. The point is that yes, uh, this person was using other sellers' images as well as. Uh, my uh, photos from my listings to uh, sell things which didn't even belong to him. So that is a clear cut situation of scamming. If in case you would have paid this person and uh, if this person would have asked me about the river and then if you would have, I would have refused him, then it would have been a very uh, difficult situation for the person who has paid uh, this person. So. The thing is that uh, right now I have discussed one of the problems. Uh, a big incident had happened uh, in last year. I don't remember also now what was the date, but I think so it was last year or last to last year that uh, many of the Indian community uh, members were scammed by this uh, guy named Rahul. And uh, means I myself lost 16k that time and uh, even many people such as uh, even Yogi Instinct, he lost 10 12k uh, even Ronit also the the ones from Raiders of the Fall they also lost 9000 10000 so uh, the bottom line is uh, once we were scammed we really couldn't do anything about it and uh, we just had to uh, let go of the situation uh, we definitely tried a lot to pursue the person but uh, he just simply stopped any sort of contact. So the bottom line here is once you get scammed, it is really difficult to retrieve your money again. And uh, the situation can get really troublesome. And after you have transferred the money to someone on your own will, uh, with your own will, uh, there is not much any of the people in the community can do for you. So my request here is uh, anyone who uh, is selling, uh, like if they want to sell or it's just a request, it's not a compulsion, obviously I cannot uh, force anyone. It is that anyone who is selling, I would really uh, 
want people to take this one step extra uh, that they would watermark their products when they put them on WhatsApp business or any sort of listing or even on Instagram for selling. I myself uh, will also start doing this. Uh, this idea was actually uh, first, I don't know if that person was the first to mention, but I was, uh, I read this idea from that person only. So he, he was uh, Saurabhadeep and he is in a plastic generation page uh, on Facebook. So he had mentioned about this idea and I really liked it. So I just thought I would mention this idea to all the sellers and uh, I also request uh, people to uh, stick to specific uh, sellers. For example, see in Burst, you have uh, Yogi Instinct, uh, then you have me as well, then uh, there is Prasid as well, the Ultimate Raven GT. Sometimes it's like he's not uh, a regular seller, but uh, there are situations that he sells, and I can guarantee you that uh, even Yogi Instinct. Uh, me obviously and Prasit, uh, there won't be any situation of uh, scamming at all. And uh, secondly, for classic generations, as I previously mentioned, we have uh, Tapan, uh, who is the Beyblade Art one. Then we have Guru. Uh, these people are really uh, trustworthy, and uh, there won't be any situation of scamming with respect to them at all. Like it's a hardcore guarantee because. Uh, we have seen them on WhatsApp as well. Uh, they have clear cut uh, identified themselves. Same with the burst sellers also, which I mentioned. So the, the point is that uh, try to purchase from relevant sellers who are there in the market right now and are actually selling to many people. Uh, yes, guys, I have back. Actually, uh, something just went in my eyes, so I uh, couldn't bear it. Uh, so yes, as I was saying, the bottom line here is that uh, try to uh, purchase from sellers you know about. As I said, I would repeat again. In Burst, you have Yogi Instinct, uh, you have me, even you have Ultimate Raven GT, that is Prasit. As again, I will repeat, Prasit is not a regular seller. So in Burst, if you want to go, it's definitely Yogi Instinct and me. Uh, you can buy from any of us. Uh, I can assure you that there won't be any situation where you will be uh, scammed, where your money would be taken and the product won't be delivered to you. It's not possible in this uh, situation at all. So try to uh, cut like purchases from these people only. And if in case you uh, spot any uh, people who have made business accounts on WhatsApp, and are selling. So you can immediately spot them with respect to the um, the main sellers because these people do not have the products only. So what they do is they uh, latch on to the main sellers and use their uh, pictures and all. So as from the seller side, I would, uh, as I said, I, would, I really request that we will, uh, we should add a watermark uh, as mentioned by uh, Shauradeep. So that would be a really uh, great thing to do, uh, which would basically uh, directly uh, tell that this photo belongs to a certain seller and not the person who is trying to sell it. So that's it uh, for the entire video. I hope you guys understood my point here. This video is not at all to um, create any sort of issues and all, it's just that I also I don't want people to be scammed and the worst part is that once you get scammed uh, there is no returning back from that uh, because the payment which you do is not going to be uh, indirectly cut from your account you would be the one who would be paying that person directly on your own free will and that's the uh, main issue sadly in India it's like that uh, once you are uh, the person who has paid on their own free will, uh, even cybercrime and the banks also, they do not uh, help you a lot. I have uh, experienced that uh, from my own side and with respect to that experience also and even other people's experience as I mentioned, uh, uh, even Yogi Instinct and uh, the Bladers of the Fall and many others also lost their money. So they all have experienced the situations to um, like how it is to deal with these banks once this kind of situation uh, arises. So I hope you guys uh, understood again in saying this that this point is very uh, crucial uh, for buying. Uh, the thing is that uh, once you buy from a 
is like a identified seller you will get the product for sure for which you have paid and there won't be any kind of situations that is the best way possible to uh, move ahead as uh, fun school will never supply wavelets in india as far as i know right now the situation is like that uh, they are simply too lazy to continue i would say and uh, overall uh, those who are actually trying to bring wavelets in india uh, i think we should direct ourselves to them only and not this uh, filthy scammers who are uh, like roaming here and they're trying to latch on to others and uh, mooch money from them so that's the entire point of this video i hope you are very clear about this and it's a request that you do follow it so that you don't get into any sort of trouble or any sort of uh, a situation from which there is no coming back so that's it for today guys thank you for your time and uh, your attention towards this video uh, take care guys and bye bye